It's Tuesday, July 24, 2018, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome. Construction work on the new bridge over Saramaka Channel on schedule. Women empowerment in indigenous village of Pelele Tepu. Surinamese government has arranged its financial sector. Candidates for the CARICOM Youth Ambassador post not ready yet. I'm Susan Maynard and your local news begins now. Construction works on the new bridge over the Saramaka Canal which connect the Industry Weg and the Bakehouse Weg are on schedule, so says Jordan Freide, project engineer. Work started in August this year. At this moment, the pedestal and the centerpiece of the northern part on the side of the Bakehouse Weg are already set up. According to Freire, everything is being prepared to finish this part completely. He says that the plan is to deliver the bridge at the end of the year. The bridge is part of the improvement of the traffic intensity coming from the south. The new bridge will replace the one on the Van het Hogerhuisstraat. This bridge no longer meets the technical requirements. The aim of women empowerment is to increase the power of women worldwide on a social, economic, and emotional level. This has also taken center stage in the village of Pelele Tepu. In the various projects that the Amazon Conservation Team Act carries out in the village, they mainly worked with women. For projects such as solar energy, pepper, and waste control, the women of the village are involved. These women have had training, information, and education to ensure continuity within these projects. Sergio Kong Asan, appointed as coordinator in the village, says that they mainly work with women. Usually, men have the chance to participate in various projects. In Tepu, it is different. The normal lifestyle of women has not changed because of the new situation. Furthermore, they are prepared to be involved in various other projects, which are an incentive to generate income. Minu Parahu, director of Amazon Conservation Team, knows that women are always involved in various projects because on Tepu, there are also men who initiate some projects. The Surinamese government has, in accordance with a number of international agreements, arranged its financial sector. So says MP Melvin Bofa in response to confiscation of 23.5 million euro by the Dutch authorities on suspicion of money laundering. According to Bofa, the parliament has a number of laws in this framework to prevent laundering through our financial institution. Andre Misikaba, chairman of the NDP group in parliament, has the impression that the confiscating of the money shipments is politically motivated. Misikaba wonders why the last cash shipment to Trinidad had to go first through the Netherlands. According to the Dutch justice, it can take months for the investigation into the origin of the funds is completed. Melvin Bofa cannot understand that. If it happens often that funds from Surinamese banks do not end up on the place of destination, it may have far-reaching consequences on the long run on our economy, says Andre Misikaba. The election to come to the appointment and swearing in of the various youth ambassadors is still waiting. The current youth ambassadors, respectively for the CARICOM and 
The SDG ambassadors have served 9 to 12 months longer than the normal term of two years. Last Saturday, it was intended that the National Youth Parliament met with the candidate youth ambassadors. Due to some confusion, the candidates have not arrived to present themselves to the youth parliament. Obed Kanape, who is nominated, indicates that he is ready to present the youth at the regional level. The candidates who have enrolled to represent the youth as CARICOM and SDG ambassadors had to go through a selection procedure. According to Kanape, the candidates had to give their names to the Ministry of Sports and Youth. Then an interview was taken from them. In this way, some candidates have been put forward. According to Kanape, the CARICOM has several decisions that have been taken in 2010, and they should be executed. According to him, someone has to get up to do this job. It's not yet known when the candidates will get the opportunity to represent themselves to the youth parliament. The youth parliament chooses the youth ambassadors based on the presentations that come forward during the introductory visit. That concludes our local news for today. Thank you for joining us. Until tomorrow, have a good day.